was in danger? Are are you for real? <clears throat> sure, Corp. That's bullshit. With okay. all due respect. Sit there! Sergeant? My dad! Where's my dad? Where's my dad, Ronya? All to last uh, recorded conversation. This appears to be Jeremy DeWitt calling. Detective Smith. Sergeant? Smith? Yes. Yes, sir. This is Jeremy DeWitt. I'm sorry. You just called my office and I'm calling back. Okay. Um, I was calling you. You filed a police report? Okay. Yes. Okay. So what's going on? Are we talking about the theft? Or are we talking about the um, the harassment? Which one? Um, harassment from YouTube. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, Detective Smith, I'm sure you know who I am. I'm I'm Orange County's worst criminal right now, and nobody really likes me. And that's neither here nor there. But at the end of the day, um, and, and I'm sure you've seen it. Real world police. Every cop has seen real world police and has made their comments. Um. Mr. Horowitz, who is the owner of Real World Police, he continues to make statements and harass me in, in ways saying that I'm doing this and I've done that and, you know, um, I'm gay and I sleep with my employees and on and on. And it's created a point to the, it's created an issue to the point where my wife is being threatened. I've been threatened. Vehicles have been broken into uh, at the office um, and so on and so forth. And I was, told by an officer that responded to a call that because our one of our employee ex-employees that was fired due to theft um, admitted to stealing our equipment on an interview with another officer on another re unrelated case um, and uh, while he was talking to us we explained it to him and he said to that we needed to file a report for the harassment because we've asked multiple times for it to stop yet it's not him just posting things on the internet about me, which anyone can do, but it's, it's the way he's posting it and saying it's me and saying that I'm doing this and then saying that I'm sleeping with these people or I'm doing this to children or whatever the case may be. And he's saying that that's true, which is creating a serious harassment situation, even though we've contacted him a few times and asked him to cease and assist. Gotcha. So, the report says Jay Horowitz. That is correct. Do you know this person? I don't, and and I've never. People keep asking me the same question: if I know him, if he ever worked for me. I don't know this guy from Adam. Um, I do know he lives in Tampa or Clearwater. Um, uh, that's from what has been told to him or told to me via resources that people have you know communicated with him and things of that nature. Okay. So how do you know it's him? Because it's his website. It's his, it's his YouTube channel. Does he identify himself on the YouTube channel? Yes, sir. Multiple times. Okay. And he's also identified himself on another unrelated web page. He identifies himself, and it's his email account, and it's his uh, username and things of that nature uh, where he makes statements and comments on another web page that is now slowly currently finding out the evidence is being fabricated and as kind of started to be on my side more, I guess. And he's making comments from his own channel, from his own YouTube channel and his own email uh, with him making statements there as well. So what is he like, what is he doing? I mean, I've seen some of these videos of you in Metro State. I mean, it just seems like a whole lot of commentary and it, it just seems like your videos that he he's collected throughout the years and just posted on YouTube. What am I? Well, what he's doing is he's editing those videos because that is those aren't anywhere, shape or form showing the whole aspect of what's happening. Um, that's one. Two, uh, again, he's. Now there's multiple times where he's saying that I've, I, it's in, it's embarrassing, but whatever saying that I'm gay and that I have sex with transvestites and things like that. And those things have never happened. Not that I think that there's, I mean, whatever love is, whatever somebody else finds. Right. I mean, you know. so, so he's saying it on the internet just to, to make you mad and it's, um, it's getting on. Okay. Right. I mean, and then I, 
Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. I mean, interrupt. And then he also he also um, posted a an interview supposedly of supposed my supposed victim that I supposedly raped and all this good stuff. Um, yeah, I'm a sex offender, but the girl lied to me and she had a fake ID and I I was 24 years old and she was turning 16, so I got fucked on that. But uh, whoever he hired or whoever he paid to act as that person, um, he interviews her and tells her, you know, he tells her what to say and he's asking questions in the in the in the interview, um, you know, just things like that. I mean, for face value, none of this stuff seems illegal. I mean, it just uh, okay. it, it, it just seems like, you know, you've become um, kind of the, the target of some some internet entertainment, some YouTube entertainment. And, you know, and all this stuff that, all these videos, all these videos that he's editing, all this audio that he's collected, and whatever he's saying, it's just, it seems like it's, you know, it's for entertainment purposes is he saying is he calling you oh he's called me before he's emailed me before he's emailing the other websites yes Mm -hmm. and and Uh, and what is i mean have you have you talked to him i know that you did a interview with someone else on youtube i mean have you done it with with him have you done an interview with him to, to no i never did an interview with him um and the reason for that was because he was uh, misrepresenting the facts from the very beginning. I mean, anyway, you know, can... detective, you're you're a detective. Uh-huh. Uh, with all due respect, you didn't become a detective because you know you just decided to join the police force yesterday. So you've been on the job long enough, and you've been on the job long enough to know that I'm not impersonating a law enforcement officer when I'm wearing my uniform that clearly marks my company, and my vehicles have purple and orange lights. And we're yelling at people to get out of her funeral that they've already broken into a funeral, which is illegal in itself. So we can we can go back and forth and we can talk about how that is. But the harassment that we're receiving and I'm receiving and my men and women are receiving and the people that drive by my house and throw things at my house that are from the website, that's harassment. Do you ever report this stuff? Like I reported this, I was talked into reporting this, and as I can see, with all due respect to you, it's a waste of time. You know, so I mean, it, it, l- listen, it's not a it's not a waste of time because every report that you make or that anybody makes is going to get reviewed and you know followed up on. And I'm not, I mean, I'm not discounting anything that you're saying, but what I'm telling you is that what people are doing to you on the internet, I mean, it's it's entertainment. I mean, they're they're They've collected your videos. They've gathered them from any public record that they can, and they put it up there. And then, actually, just... we have proof that most of the videos that Jay Horowitz wasn't collected from public records requests. That Detective Allen with the Windermere Police Department illegally gave it to him, including the jail phone calls that, under Florida Sunshine State Law, are 100 percent illegal to be given out to anyone other than law enforcement. Where Detective Allen initially got it and then supplied to Jay Horowitz. And you have so, proof for this. Um, we have, of course, because if you have proof for that, proof. if you have proof of that, then I believe that that's a legitimate claim that you should go to the sheriff's right. office and make that claim. But you know, the harassment part of it, I, I don't believe that what is going on here, you know, based on Florida law, rises to the level of a crime. You know, I mean, I can call this guy and I can get his side of the story, but, you know, I mean, what if he believes that what he's doing is well within the law? You know, if, if, the, intent, if the intent, if he is calling you and harassing you um, for the intent. Well, he's not, no, but he's putting on his website. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You're right. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead. It's okay. I mean, if he's, if, if what he's doing is calling you and harassing you, you know, and you have some sort of direct contact with him, then I think that's a different story. I mean, we, we can, you know, get that on record and tell him to stop, but I can't, I can't tell him to stop what, you know, any citizen in the United States is able to do. I mean, if you believe... Right, but he's have- posting on his webpage or on his YouTube channel, my phone number, my address, pictures of my newborn daughter, and he's posting 
for them to call me. He's posting for them to call and harass my have family. Have you reached out to and, YouTube? Because they do have, you know, their uh, legal department, and they deal with... Of course. With they said I have to file a police report first, okay. and which I've done so. Yeah, I mean, I can get you... If you want a copy of the police report, I can just forward it over to you. But, um, you know, I don't know that, you know... Anybody like I can I can go to the clerk's website and I can pull up the affidavit from the last incident you had or whatever and it's got your phone number on it. It's a public record. I mean your phone number's out there. Have you considered changing it and just kind of starting I, over? I mean I know you got I, I know you got a business to run, man. But you know if if these if this is continuing to happen to you, then you might kind of want to look for a clean slate. Right. And, and, you know, I'm only saying that to you because I do believe that at some point you do you did have, you know, a pretty profitable business. And, you know, in, in the midst of all that and those accusations or whatever that you've had over the ca past couple of years, they're just trailing you now. You know, I don't know what to tell you on this stuff. Anybody can gather this information, put it out there on YouTube or put it out the inter on the Internet. I know there's a whole website dedicated to you. Yeah, I know that whole website is now actually finding that the police statements are fraudulent and being forged. So, I mean, if you're that apt to what's going on, detective, you could be able to see that there are finding out through proper public records requests that mm -hmm. these documents are being altered and, and made up and, and lies are being made up and evidence is going missing. And again, of course, and again for a citizen to lie and put it on the website, not a crime. You know, it's just it doesn't make them very um, credible. And, and that it's in itself is not against the law. If you believe that, you know, um, your character is being defamed or anything like that, the, the, that's not a job for the police. That's a job for like the, the civil litigation system. And I'm, I'm not familiar with that at all. Right. So, but I mean, I, I got to tell you, man, it's like. This stuff just keeps following you and following you and following you, and I think that people are just trying to get underneath your skin, you know? Well, it, it doesn't get under my skin because, as you can know, as you know, I'm on the road every day still doing escorts, so it doesn't bother me. The issue is, is my, the safety of my family and my daughter is now in jeopardy when people are showing up at my doorstep because he's posting my address, um, and he's saying that I've done these crimes. Not allegedly. He's not saying that I, I'm going to court yet. No, he's saying that I've done it um, when a lot of the videos have been altered. And you're a detective. You don't actually see my face. And how can you say that I committed that crime or I did supposedly what you're saying? Because um, I know for a fact none of those videos show my face because I know for a fact that a good 50 percent of them aren't me. Um, but that's neither here nor there. That's, you know, we're having basically roadside court right now. Uh, you know, I, I, I just. I, I hear what you're saying, and I understand what you're saying, but I'm confused on where does the, the the harassment that he is conducting by putting my information, my phone numbers, my addresses, my wife's information, my daughter's birth, things of that nature, to where it's jeopardizing my family now. That That's the problem. I don't care what anyone thinks about me. I don't care what, with all due respect to you, I don't care what you think about me. I don't care what any cop thinks about me. You want to shoot me dead in the street? That's okay. Whatever happens, happens. But at the end of the day, I run a legitimate business, and me yelling at people that are fucking arrogant idiots that get into a funeral that want to just run some red lights, that's the shame that the law is now saying because of one deputy or two deputies that don't like the way I've done it because OPD's never had a problem with me. Uh, one, uh, you know, all the other agencies never had a real problem. You know, uh, Motor, what's his name, Sergeant Dillon, whatever his problem was. But, you know, after a judge spoke to him and corrected it, we, we haven't had any other problems with OPD, you know, so I, I'm just worried about my family's safety. And, and that's why I'm calling because I run my business out of Orlando and the Orlando police for the most part, other than detective or, uh, uh, Sergeant, uh, um, Dylan, I've never had a real problem. So just trying to figure out when does it constitute as harassment when, He's posting information about me on the internet, my address, my phone numbers, not just my phone number, but my new home address. I just bought a house, you know, you know, he, he was happy enough to put on there how I just bought a 400, almost a $400,000 house and so on and so forth. You know, how is that not harassment at that point? 
I can look up any public database. I mean, you say you just bought a house. If it's in your name, I can go to the property appraiser's website and search your name, and I can find it, and I can post it on the internet, and I can say, I mean, I'm not, listen, I'm not trying to offend you, but if you're a sex offender, your stuff's already out there anyways. That's you know? true. Again, again, you have to understand, Detective, I, I'm not arguing with what you're saying. I know who I am, and I know I'm a piece of shit as far as the world's concerned. I'm not worried about my safety. Uh, that's not, I mean, it is what it is. I'm worried about my family's safety and the things that are going on. Isn't that considered cyber stalking? Being the fact he's constantly making up stuff and then posting it on the internet, he's finding information about me, then taking it, posting it on the internet, twisting it to his. Go ahead, I'm listening. Yeah, the problem is, is that you're accused of a bunch of stuff. So who knows if it's true or not? I mean, when it's when it's found out to be not true, and you get your day in court, you know, you have a legitimate civil claim against the guy. And you right. probably go to YouTube and or, or um, Google or whoever it is, and explain to them. But this is this is not a not a job for the police, unfortunately. You know, I mean, okay. if all you're worried about is what he's twisting and saying these things, um, you know, he's saying these things are true, and you're saying they're not true. Well, you know, I mean, again. You're on the FDLE's website. This is your address. You have to do all these things. You have to put up with, you know, people putting a sign out in the front of your house saying a sex offender lives here. I, I, I don't know what to tell you on that stuff, man. That, that's just, that comes with the territory. And, you know, your wife has got to be on board with that stuff. That's, that's the so society that we live in, you know. And, and, you know, your videos are out there. And right. they're on YouTube. And anybody can upload those videos. Anybody can label you a police impersonator. You know, true or not, anybody can label you a police impersonator and, and make fun of you and do all these things. May not be right, but, you know, at the end of the day, the guy's just, that's whatever legitimate business he, ha he thinks he has, that's what he does. Just like you have a legitimate business. You know, I, right. I, I don't want to tell you on that stuff, but... I don't know how to substantiate that to be cyber stalking or if he's, you know, if he's writing you emails, if he is doing that, if, if one particular person is doing that, then I have, then I think we have a different case. Then I'll, you know, I'll be happy to investigate it. And I'll, I'll still reach out to this guy and see if I can get his side of the story in this whole thing. But, you know, I mean, as a result, quite honestly, if, if you're not interested in filing, don't even bother reaching out to him because that would only then fuel his bullshit and then he'll just put that out there, which will cause even more drama, you know, quite honestly. It's, Tell me it's about your theft case. Point. You have a case number? I'll look into that for you. Yeah, I don't have the case number. I'm very sorry. I made it the day before I made this case, what this charge. It? What is it about? Is it with the city of Orlando? It is, yes. Um, you want me to look to, it up and find the, who out out who the detective is? Uh, it's Detective Blondie or something like that. London? London, yeah. All right. I mean, has she reached out to you? She reached out to uh, my assistant, but she hasn't actually spoken to me yet, which she didn't sound too enthusiastic either, even though we have proof that he's selling my stolen stuff on eBay right now, and we have the screenshots of it. I mean, uh, you know, I, I guess because I'm a sex offender, I don't have actual rights anymore, apparently. Um you know, so, um, yeah, but she hasn't uh, actually spoken to me. Okay, I'll find out what's going on with it, and, you know, okay. I'll have her reach out to you. Um, yeah, it, it's, you tell me what you want me to do. I mean, I'm just telling you what you're telling, what you are telling me now. Um, uh -huh. It does not rise to the level of a crime. And if it did, the crime is very, is second degree misdemeanor. Not something that I could reach across, you know, county lines and yank this guy and put him in jail for. You know, it's right. it's it's petty bullshit. I understand, and, and it's, it's not. Unfortunately, I think it's better served in like, you know, the civil. the civil side of it, and even reach out to YouTube and say, hey, this is this is me. This guy is talking about this stuff is not true. You know, if you just yeah. do a simple uh, YouTube search for their legal department, you know. They have a whole team mm -hmm. dedicated to that stuff. 
Um, but um, all right, I, I noticed your girlfriend, um, or I'm sorry, your wife, Jennifer. She filed a report too. Did you want me to? Does she want me to reach out to her? Do you want me to reach out to her? Sure, talk to her. That's she's she's my assistant. She's a very capable uh, assistant. Huh? She uh, not my wife or girlfriend. Um, she uh, she's very uh, important to the role of our company. Okay, so th- so okay. I I apologize. I thought Miss Burton was your your wife or girlfriend. No, no, she's um, very important. She's my, my, my secretary. I mean, but um, she she runs a lot of the aspects of my business. But no, not that. I'm married a, under a different. Uh, my my wife's name is Rania Duet. So, um, but she's being harassed as well because uh, he's putting her name in different case or different reports and stuff. Because she has very good information, and she's getting a lot of good information from within the sheriff's office mm-hmm. that a lot of this stuff is fraudulent and being forged and made up. And because she's showing the proof to the website, because she knows some of the people of that website, he's then bashing her. Um, is you know, this, which is okay. Ms. Burton, is she the same girl that we talked about a year, uh, two years ago, when you were having an issue on Ashley Madison? Uh, believe it or not, she is. Okay. I know. Isn't that crazy? Okay. But it is crazy because at the time, she was harassing you, and you were married, yeah. and now she works for you. Well, she doesn't really per se work for me as an employee. She works for me. She does a lot of secretarial things for me, and she does a lot of things where she's correcting a lot of issues, and she has a lot of contacts that I don't have that seem to be giving her proper information. So, I got to tell you, man, like, we, hey, we go back and forth. We go back and forth about all these things, and a lot of this drama, I it's yeah. like I have... I, I experience firsthand with you when I'm on the phone. And, you know, two years ago when we spoke, she was the girl that was harassing you with text messages, um, trying to get in the middle of you and your wife, and now she's working for you. And it, Believe it or not, she's the one that's actually showing the proof. She's the only one that's showing the truth at this point. I hear you, and I, I'm just as confused as you. True, to be honest with you, I'm just as confused as you. Uh, And one of the things that she's relayed to me is that she felt remorse for the things that she has done. Um, And, but she's the only one that's actually showing the truth or finding the truth right now. Nobody else seems to care. Every other cop and Joe and Dick and Harry right now just hopes that I burned in in prison. And in fact, the reality is, is I've never told anyone I'm a cop and never pulled anyone over. So all I've ever done is the same funeral escort I've been doing for 10 years. So I, She's the only one that's finding the truth where the lies are being made on police statements and then being lied to a judge where we actually have two different affidavits from the same officer with different storylines. It's it's confusing, and I understand what you're saying. Trust me, I'm it's just only blown away as you. Because once we start making these reports and we start documenting mm-hmm. them, they're just contradictory to what I dealt with two years ago. And that's, that's, where, that's the problem is that you start to lose that credibility that you had initially with the with me when you were dealing with me two years ago and now th- now this whole situation is you know you were pretty adamant that that she was stalking you and all these things and trying to you know disrupt your life two years ago and now she's the manager of your company she sounds like no 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 no, no. she's not a manager no it sounds like no. she runs it no 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 and everything's no good. what she's doing well, is no, no, not, not everything's good. Trust me. What she's doing is, is she's trying to fix the wrongs that she's created. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, she's talking to the people that are somehow connected to this Jay Horowitz guy. Uh, that's my understanding. And you don't think I don't talk to her on a regular basis. And, and she's no. employed, or she she's not employed. I don't know, but she she does. No, she's not an employee, but okay. she does do a lot of things for my company. The, what she's doing mostly is correcting the lies that are being out there. So she's dealing with that over there. I barely talk to her. She deals with other people that she works with. There's some kind of investigation or some kind of group that they're finding the truth and all that, and she only communicates with me here and there. 
but one of the things that she did show to me was all the stuff that's happening and all the stuff that are being stated to about me. And then she said that it was about her as well. So she filed as well because the officer advised me that I should tell them to file as well. So I did. All right, man. Well, um, you know, I'll touch base with her. Um, you know, just, you, you know what you can, you can't do. And, and just go with that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not involved in any of the other stuff that you're going on and that you got going on. So, I'll deal with what we got here, okay? All right. Sounds good, detective. All right. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Yep. Bye-bye. Oh. 150. But that wasn't me. Sergeant. 